In this video, we will show you how to use the DJI Air 2S Combo for the first time. Open the outer packaging of DJI Air 2S. We're using the DJI Air 2S Fly More Combo in this example, and take out the product and its accessories. Note, accessories are placed in two accessory kits, and the remote controller already has a cable inside for smartphone attachment. Visit the Downloads page on the official DJI website to scan the QR code, and download and install the DJI Fly app. Remove the gimbal protector and unfold the drone's arms. DJI Air 2S has two different types of motors and propellers that must be matched. Attach the propellers with orange circle markings to the motors with orange circle markings. Likewise, attach the propellers without markings to the motors without markings. Remember to make sure the propellers are all securely attached to ensure a safe flight. Remove the control sticks from the storage slots at the bottom of the remote controller. Extend the mobile device clamp and you will find a cable that can be used to attach your smartphone. The right side of the cable with an RC icon connects with the remote controller. The other end on the left should be used to connect your smartphone. The cable that comes attached is a lightning cable, but additional connector options can be found in the accessory kit. Move the connector from the left side. Place your smartphone inside the clamp with the charging port on the right side. Tighten the clamp. Make sure everything is secure, and then connect the cable to your smartphone. When using the battery for the first time, connect to the battery charger for approximately one minute to activate the battery. Insert the battery into the battery compartment. You should hear a click, which means the battery is secure. Press once, and then again, and hold for about two seconds to power on the remote controller and the aircraft. When you need to power off the aircraft and the remote controller, press the power button once, then press again and hold for two seconds. You can use the DJI Fly app to link the aircraft with the remote controller. Power on the aircraft and connect your smartphone with the remote controller. Open the DJI Fly app, tap Connect Aircraft at the bottom right, and tap Camera View on the top right. Next, tap Settings, and then tap Connect to Aircraft at the bottom of the control screen. The linking process will start when the remote controller beeps, and the battery indicator blinks in sequence. Press and hold the power button for about 4 seconds. The battery indicator will activate and the aircraft will begin the linking process. The app will display the image transmission interface screen to indicate linking was successful after the remote controller stops beeping and the battery indicators of the remote controller and aircraft stop blinking. You can also link the remote controller with combination buttons by simultaneously pressing the customizable button, the shutter record button, and the photo video toggle at the top. The remote controller will start to beep after two seconds. The remote controller battery indicator will activate. Then you can begin the linking process. Press and hold the aircraft power button for approximately 4 seconds and release once it begins to beep. The aircraft battery indicator will activate and the aircraft will begin the linking process. The app will display the image transmission interface screen to indicate linking was successful after the remote controller stops beeping and the battery indicators of the remote controller and aircraft stop blinking. All you need to do is open the DJI Fly app and follow instructions to activate the aircraft. A prompt will appear if a new firmware update is available. Tap the prompt to enter the update screen and tap Start Update. During the update, do not power off the device or exit the app. Note, during the update, it is normal for the two LED lights in the middle of the controller to blink alternatively and for the RC in the aircraft to automatically restart. After the update is finished, both the aircraft and the remote controller will remain powered on. Hold the aircraft arms. Attach the gimbal protector. And store the aircraft in the shoulder pad. Preparing for flight. Remove the gimbal protector. Unfold the arms. And securely install the propellers. Place DJI Air 2S on level ground, making sure the aircraft is facing outward, with the rear facing you. Open the DJI Fly app and select DJI Air 2S on the main interface. 
After linking is complete, tap Go Fly. Tap Safety and set the RTH height higher than the tallest building or object near you. Flying Basics Before flying, choose an open, obstacle-free area. Check the battery level of the Intelligent Flight Battery and place the aircraft on a level surface with the rear facing you. Power on the aircraft. Check the battery level of the remote controller, then power on and set the RC mode to normal. Check the flight interface in the app. Confirm that there are no abnormal reminders or alerts and that the GPS signal is adequate for flight. Tap the takeoff icon on the left and press and hold the prompt icon to enable auto takeoff. After takeoff, the icon will change to auto landing. Tap the auto landing icon on the left and hold to make the aircraft land automatically. If you prefer to take off manually, use Mode 2 as an example. Pull both control sticks all the way to the bottom of the controller, and then push inwards or outward. When the propellers begin to rotate, gently push the left control stick up to take off. The left control stick is used to control your flying altitude and the direction DJI Air 2S is facing. The right control stick is used to enable the aircraft to fly forward, backward, and to either side. If you have powered on the motors but the aircraft has not taken off, pull down the left control stick and the motors will power off. If DJI Air 2S is already in the air, pull down the left control stick and the aircraft will begin to land. Press the Flight Pause RTH button on the remote controller to make the aircraft break. You can view flight distance and speed in the bottom left corner of the screen. During flight, keep the RC antennas facing toward the drone to enjoy optimal transmission. When the GPS signal is weak, the compass experiences interference or the ambient is insufficient for visual positioning. The aircraft will enter attitude mode and cannot hover in place or auto brake. To avoid accidents, please land in a safe location as soon as possible. Taking photos and videos. Tap the photo button on the right and choose photo, video, or quick shots. The camera parameter menu at the bottom right can be used to adjust parameters. You can also adjust the gimbal pitch and control the camera by using the gimbal dial on the left side. Use the switch button on the front to switch between photo and video mode. Use the shutter record button on the right side to quickly take photos and video. Digital zoom is available in video mode. In the DJI Fly flight interface, drag the zoom button up and down, or tap the numbers to adjust. Zoom in or out on the screen with two fingers, or press and hold the function on the RC and zoom using the gimbal dial. Tap the playback icon on the bottom right to view and download your footage. Smart RTH To initiate RTA, tap the RTH button on the left side of the screen and hold or press the RTH button on the remote controller and hold. Safety Precautions Before takeoff, check if the flight environment meets all necessary requirements and set the RTH altitude. Don't forget to check that propellers and battery have all been installed securely and that you have removed the gimbal protector. Thank you for watching our DJI Air 2S tutorial, First Flight. Enjoy your flight!